Nat still relies on his own instincts. Pulling it under the hood to start his Ewing. Gets the exit to kick off this quarterfinal heat. He's got that cool step in the direction of the end section. He will lose his footing on that challenging finishing move, but not a bad way to start in the pit. Getting ready for the Challenger Series, but happy to still be in McGillivray's corner. Not a bad too bright to kick things off, Bucks. Yeah, a little double looping barrel there. He got that first section, then looped in, and this is just gobbles him alive at the end and didn't quite finish it. Still not a bad opener, just for the tube ride alone. I love it. He pulls in here just uh, nicely. And look at this second part of the loop. It just gets him nice and deep. He comes out pretty clean. And then he was hoping for a big section to go right into. Still just for the barrel, he'll get a 6.5. And that frothy section there, he still cuts through it like butter, Joe. It didn't hinder his surfing performance it's just that it gobbled him alive here he gets uh he comes around the, this one foam ball meets the other foam ball. i'd have to convince myself that i can do what john did since he was retired he's like yeah I'm, I'm not touching that but he had a good laugh about how you'd have to really channel that confidence in a heat against john at main break this is what nat just did during the interview with maddie yeah, well, this wave, uh, it, it garners him a 5-3-3, and he, this last section here, I guess the judges said he didn't surf out of it. He didn't have much choice, but he got some good work done. It was just a 5-3-3. That first turn, that was the, that was the most solid turn of the, of the wave. <coughs> and then this wave, it just sort of fattens out a bit. Still good carving. And he brings it round for another little shot here as the wave tapers off. Enjoys the power of the open wall on their backhand, and we've got an opportunity here. It'll go to Ethan Ewing, opened up with a 6.5 by pulling into the barrel. Straight to turns, big arc to start. Winding up, twist and wrap, that'll hold him up high, but he'll still ride away. Swinging into a beautiful roundhouse cutback, he'll disappear on the rebound. So second wave that has taken away a finish, but some clean moves about to paddle back out and Nat definitely was in a good spot to regain priority back to Ethan's wave. Yeah, look at these calves, just is straight into work. Steep bottom turn. Even that, it's a soft part of the section, kind of got caught up there and, and that's about it for the point scoring because this would have been a great move if he pulled it off. But uh, on this one, we saw this big set coming. Here's Nat on a good size wave. And he's looking to get out of that one. So exit stage left. The board goes over the falls. Hung in there by the leash. Place for the adventurous spirit, especially if you like some bigger surf. Nat Young loves it. Off the bottom. Nice arcing turn to start. Needs a 6.6 .6 to get the lead change. Driving hard into the top of that wave. Clean rip off the top again. End section challenging, but he knows where to fit that board in a tight space. Rarely has awkward falls. So sure-footed on his feet. It's a nice solid turn under the lip there. Not vertical, but still solid. Again, another one similar. But this is where it gets interesting. He squeezes that turn in there and very quickly. Was able to qualify and represent Santa Cruz on tour. And now Nat Young on his comeback. Looks like he likes the looks of this one, a main break. Can he improve his scoreline under priority? First turn, nice tight backhand jam. Straight to the bottom, and he'll lose it. Situation will stay the same. Yeah. And Ewing's been working on being on the best waves of matchups. Looks like he's got a solid wall now. The Australian deep on this one. Now setting that bottom turn, going right to the lip. Beautiful frontside arc. Back to the open face, big whip in the pocket, punches the rebound. Nice and tight wrap and finishes with a fourth maneuver. Can he ride away? Yes, he does. So much rail work to enjoy. Ethan's wave, meanwhile, he comes, he loves coming from behind the bowl. Sets it up perfectly for that big carve. 
back into the pocket. Again, even that move there, strong. And this is where he sets up one of those, another beautiful car and quickly transitions, kind of like Nats, and the convergence gets him the big foam ball from behind. And it seemed like he'd, he'd actually ridden out of it then and bailed just before the bricks. And, oh, that's just a beautiful carve down. I mean, what it brings it back in the pocket. Really brings his board around under his feet. And this turn, even though that's sort of a transition turn, it's, it's a full-blooded one. <laughs> and uh, this is where it gets busy for him. This beautiful snap down and then brings it back on the inside edge and up and over that lip line. Now, does he surf out? Does he, he just handles this section of it. Looks like he's on his feet there, Joe. For Ethan Ewing, here comes Nat Young. Stabs it through the lip. There's a drawn out arc and Nat oh, has a rare slip. Goes down in transition on the backhand carve. This wave of Nats is really interesting. Look at it. Big, it's a good start by Nat. That was a solid move. And now he just loses his ball. Getting right back into live action with a minute 15 to go. Up and out is Ewing. He's just dancing around under Nat's priority to see if he can turn it. Here comes Nat Young. Late takeoff. The lip lands on his heels. Regains his composure. Fades back into the pocket. Needs more on this one. Another redirect. Chasing an 8-9-4. Big finish. Hammers it and runs out of water. So he had to eject an 8-9-4 bugs. That would be the second best wave of the heat. And the judges will put in the final score a 5.63 for Nat Young. Not close. It's Ewing who has been on a roll in the quarters this year into another big semifinal.